Welcome back everybody to another video on HCMC now as always with HCMC a lot is going on we have a lot to cover in this video so we're going to be talking about the price section with this one we're going to be looking of course at some of the latest news I'm sure you guys will enjoy this video so if you do make sure to of course leave it a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so because again we are going to be making more and more videos on this one as time goes on now as you will know we haven't been making videos every single day and we will not be making videos every single day but from a week to week basis i think it is important to keep reflecting on hmc where we are where we are in the community because this week has been an interesting one we have an update from the 14th as you guys will know and i think it is somewhat relevant but of course we're going to be looking as well at the share price because i think as time goes on the share price is actually becoming more and more relevant because now in my personal view hmc does provide a very interesting you know opportunity to trade of course if you do have the ability to do so because i know it's hard to get liquidity to buy and sell on certain platforms but basically what i'm trying to say in this video is hmc we have a lot to speak about and we're going to start off over here talking about this update from the 14th of december which is actually published on their site now the title reads very quickly hmc announces filing uh, of appeal to the ruling in the case against philip morris now to break this one down a bit further we can see they have announced uh, an appeal of the district court for the northern district of georgia the dismissal of hmc's patent infringement against philip morris inc and philip morris products as well so hmc believes the georgia court committed legal error by dismissing it for com for complaint for patent infringement and also by denying hmc a motion to amend is pleading so the ceo jeff holman has this to say we will continue to vigorously uh, pursue our case through the app appellate i believe it is process oh sorry appeal it process as we believe this is as we believe the facts and uh, controlling law support our position and mr holman went on to conclude the company continues to move forward with various growth uh, initiatives and this is really true guys Obviously, like I said before, many people are speculating or were speculating on the lawsuit, so it was inevitable once we officially lost that, people were going to sell out. But from a fundamental standpoint, the company is still working diligently to expand. I think that is showing with the updates that they are coming out with as time goes on. But anyway, going on with this, we can see uh, we are we are presently in the process of rebranding our recent acquisition which is eir hydration we have covered this before and and he invites everyone to periodically check on our corporate website for the latest company news as always he would like to sincerely thank all of the valued shareholders for their continued support so once more, Jeff hasn't forgot the shareholders, and that is important, that is good, because we already know shareholders from a price point do kind of build up this company, and with such a small market cap company, it does really influence what the business can do. So the fact that Jeff is playing, uh, paying this important tribute to the shareholders is big in my opinion. I think it is very helpful for him and his company. But that is the latest on the news. What I want to talk about now is the price. Now, HMC is fluctuating in between a price of the 0 0.0002 range and the 0 0.0003 range. Now, you will see it has been barcoding for some time, and this is nothing new. We have been barcoding for months, but the main story is that we have been barcoding down. Initially, our high around the 49 range, but I do believe it was a little bit higher than that. Uh, we will see as well we've been falling 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 but throughout all this time it was nothing but up down up down with the casual downside bringing us lower and lower and of course that trend has continued to grow in the past month or so especially in the past week as we have seen that big drop with the negative news about the lawsuit but again will the appeal mean something towards this potentially but i think what we are looking at here is a really interesting trading opportunity and again it is going to depend on whether you can get the liquidity for this but it is something that is talked about in our youtube short just yesterday if this one goes from a price of you know one to two of course that is basically a massive return and if it goes from two to three we're also looking at a very very large return and this is happening continuously now for this one if you are looking to buy it i am looking for a bottom around 0 0.0001 
Again, from there, we could go as high as three, which is where we are right now. Now, from three, where we are currently, we're looking for a break, hopefully above this level, taking us to four at some point in the next week. I think it is absolutely possible. When that dip came, a lot of people definitely did utilize that as a great opportunity to load up on HGMC because not everybody is here for the lawsuit. Some people were here, you know, before that, or some people actually came after that and liked what the company was doing more than that. So I think that is completely understandable. So on the low end of that 0 0.0001, it is questionable whether we are going to see that again. But of course, if we do not, we're looking for a level slightly higher than that at 0 0.0002. But I'm just trying to remind you guys that HGMC isn't looking too bad on the share price level. Again, break above that three would be nice. Uh, but of course, it is also important to update you guys on the latest regarding the lawsuit. So it's been a short video, but I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe and I'll see you all again. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon